Hello, hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to the Spirit of Watercolor with Linda. Yes, um, I'm glad you've been enjoying my last videos, watercolor techniques, and um, uh, getting in there with the flow of it, and the, you know, understanding how watercolors work. It's so important, right, to this most beautiful spiritual watercolor medium, as I've said over and over again. <laughs> Uh, glad you're here again. Um, I thought we'd take one of our little quotes for the week. Um, these are short, but they're also just tips to motivate us and keep us um, enjoying watercolor, keeping us going. Because there are many things about watercolor, as you probably figured out by now, that can be daunting and can be um, challenging and sometimes tell us it's too hard. But really, um, if you listen to a lot of quotes that I've done, a lot of watercolor painters who have been very successful have had those very same struggles as you have, as I have, um, and that, you know, uh, the more that we do this, the, the more we can uh, master this beautiful medium, right? So, so here I have two quotes, and I decided to do this one. It's a short one, but it's very, it, I can relate so much to this one, and I've taught this many times about a particular color. So this quote is um, by Jean, G-E-N-E, -E, Allen. I don't actually, I looked it up, I couldn't really figure out which Jean Allen it was. There's a person who was a director, uh, art director, and um, worked in films, and then there's another Jean Allen who's an actual watercolor painter, so I'm not really sure, but this quote would be universal for any of us who do watercolor. So, um, so here it is. And so let me uh, read this to you. Very, very short. <laughs> okay. When in doubt, leave it white. <laughs> when in doubt, leave it white. Yes, and again, there's a lot to this, okay, with watercolor. Um, there's a lot to know about it. I used to think I had to have a watercolor paint tube, and you don't with watercolor. You can, and there's even an opaque watercolor in a jar that I do use, but occasionally for different things like fog, but generally watercolor in a painting, and this is just a tiny little painting I have here, but it's in a small frame, and I. I wanted to mention it because if, if you look at any watercolor painting that I want to call successful, even the soft, non, not super colorful ones, there's a lot of white in them, okay? And the thing is that when we want white in a watercolor painting, you probably know this already, you just leave the paper white, okay? And, um, and white in our paintings can be... Um, you know, in the sky, in the snow, parts of the land, reflections of light. There's so many things where white is an essential part of our paintings, right? So, um, and so to learn how to keep the whites, I'll give you a tip. What I used to do, um, take your light pencil, like a 3B pencil, and where you want to keep areas of white to remind yourself when you're first learning this, first learning how to keep the whites, put a little light W there in that area, okay? And you can erase that with your magic rub eraser, the best erasers there is out there, I think, for watercolor. Um, and then uh, maintain those white areas that way. Um, you can mask out also, of course, with white. And I have videos, so go back to masking fluid about you know keeping the white of the paper. Check those out for actually how to do these things and how to sort of teach yourself because it's not something that comes easily. We think with oils or acrylics, you know, you put the white on, right? Watercolor, we work lightest to darkest as opposed to darkest to light with pastels or oils. So those whites are crucial to keep, you know? And then if you want to tint them later, bring in a little soft beige or yellow or something in the sun, in the sky or whatever, you could do that, but um, you want to hold on to those, okay? Because they are crucial to your watercolor. And this is just this little painting. I hope you enjoy. I like trying to show you paintings that I've done just to inspire you um, and myself to, you know, to um, to remember that, you know, they come in all different sizes, shapes, uh, values, 
and um, but the trick is to keep the colors beautiful and luminous, transparent, and um, um, uh, what's the word I was trying to say? Um, I guess just watercolor beauty. You know, it's it's different than other mediums. That transparent quality, even though some are semi-transparent. Um, so, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Try not to get too long, and. Um, I hope you will continue with me and uh, when we explore in our next painting coming up this week we will we will do some of that. We'll keep some of the whites in our painting and I'll make sure and point that out and um, and we're going to get more into the fluidity but I want to also get into a little more um, talking about pencil lines and how they can keep us you know in, into you know uh, the, the detail of the background and then how that you could get loose over top of that okay but you have those little details in the background with the pencil very lightly put in uh, and this I'm re relating to Winslow Homer who I is one of my heroes in watercolor one of the founders of making watercolor a real medium so um, uh, let's let's do that let's get back in uh, to the table and we'll do some more beautiful flowing spiritual watercolors thanks for coming and i'll see you very soon